hey everybody welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are all doing well today's video i thought that i would share with you guys my sustainable autumn picks it's been a minute since i did any shopping i've always been the type of person that just didn't buy many clothes in general for many reasons some of the reasons are because I just hate clutter. I hate too much stuff in my wardrobes. I don't know if any of you can relate, but it just confuses me. And then I end up just picking the same thing over and over again, rather than just going through all the clothes. So that would be one of the reasons. And the other is that I just have to love something so much to purchase it and put it in my wardrobe and wear it. There's nothing more frustrating for me than buying a piece of clothing. It looking okay you're not just you're not quite feeling yourself in it and then putting it to the back of your cupboard for god knows how long before you find it again and then try to do that all over again so i'm really fussy and have always been that way but because of that fast forward to today i am low on a few bits and the weather's changed we're going into autumn and winter and i needed some bits so i thought it'd be fun to share it with you i have been making sure that i've been picking bits that are organic eco recycled i really am making a conscious effort to pick those pieces over the other pieces i just feel that if we all try and do that a little bit more then brands are going to make sure that they are producing and going in the direction of more sustainable i am going to get into today's video quickly before i do guys please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel also hit that bell so that you get the notifications when i upload a new video and also come say hey on instagram i'm over there too it's at honestly alessandra i love hearing from you guys i want to know what you think of today's video i want to know what outfits you liked what outfits you didn't like i need some help from you guys so with all that said and done let's get into today's video Okay, so since I'm running low on practically everything, I have a range of bits today. I've got dresses, I've got jumpers, I've got coats, I've got loungewear. So it's quite a bit to get through today. And I'm gonna start strong with this beautiful autumnal dress from a brand called Pieces. Now, this is the first time I've heard of them. They do a better choice range where they use natural fibers and are heading towards a more sustainable direction. So I wanna support that. I fell in love with this print. You can see it's like a kind of floral. It's very autumnal. Um, I fell in love straight away. It has just got a basic neckline. It's got an enclosure like that at the back. Puff sleeves, which I love. It's just so feminine. It has a belt that is the same color as the dress, which I really love because it cinches you in and it's not obvious. It gives you a nice shape. I would also swap that out for a black belt. Um, I just feel that you could do so much with this dress. I've popped it on for you. I've teamed it up with a vegan leather jacket, which is from Will's Vegan. They do such amazing footwear and a pair of vegan leather boots from Barva Shoes. I love this look. It's very easy and very autumnal. It is just what I need for my wardrobe. I don't have anything like this at all. I think this dress comes in a blueprint too, as well as this one. I think I also got a top in the same print, which I will show you guys later. The only thing I would say, but it's such a minor, is that I would have preferred the dress, I think, to be shorter. Stefania doesn't agree with me at all. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but I just thought if it was a little bit shorter, I could wear it with black tights and some knee-high boots. I don't know, but I love it. Next up is everything I love about knitwear, and I'll tell you why in a second, but it's from a brand called Everlane. When I stumbled across their website, I literally could have bought everything. Every single piece was classic, timeless. Everything will last in your wardrobe for a lifetime. And I love classic pieces and I love knitwear too. So I picked up this jumper. It's bat winged slightly. It comes in at the cuff. It's got a nice crew neck. I love the thickness of this crew neck. I popped it on with some faux leather trousers. 
and my bar bar boots again and i just think it's a lovely effortless look you could dress the jumper up and you could dress the jumper down the other thing about this well there's a few things about this but firstly it's so soft i hate jumpers that are just not soft i've got really sensitive skin so i'll just itch the entire time wearing it um also it's really light like i hate jumpers that are really heavy and weigh you down and don't sit properly this jumper is super light i picked the jumper up in almond they have probably about 14 or 15 colors there were so many and it was so hard to choose but i just kept it neutral for now because i really need some jumpers and i don't want to get a color that i'm not going to wear all the time i want something that i'm going to get my use out of so i picked up the almond and i picked it up in a small and i would say it fits true to size i saw this green one and really fell in love with it so i might pick that up but i'm definitely keeping this this one isn't going anywhere what do you guys think do you like it i promise you guys it is just a dream it's such a lovely quality jumper and I'm going to stop going on about it because I'll just sit here the whole time talking about how gorgeous and soft this jumper is. So I'm going to move on to the next one. So I've been on the hunt, as many of us have probably been this year, for loungewear. And I don't just want to buy any loungewear. I want it to be obviously sustainable and I want it to last and I want to love it and I want to wear it a lot. I also work from home so I just want to be put together because I got into a really bad rut at one point in lockdown where I just wouldn't really get out of my pyjamas and I try and work in my pyjamas and that just didn't work. So I found this set from Chelsea Piers and it is just a standard tracksuit. So I've got the sweatshirt and the joggers which it's perfect for me, it's a great colour, but I've popped it on for you so you guys can see. I've just teamed up with a pair of superstars, trainers, because I just would wear this with trainers. I did make the mistake, I think, of ordering the jumper in a medium. I'm normally a small, but I just thought to get it more oversized. And you can see on the video that my shoulders look very puffed. I could order it in a small and see, but the other issue is the bottoms are feeling quite tight around my legs it's not too bad i could deal with it but as you guys can see the waist is just far too big so if i was to size up and get the medium where it could be bagger on my legs it's just going to fall down my waist basically and probably fall off <laughs> well that's an exaggeration it's such a shame because everything about it is perfect and just what I'm looking for like the joggers come in at the bottom and obviously at the sleeves and the best part guys is that it's fleeced inside so it's super super soft and they're so cozy on it does come in other colors I think it's a green but it's a really bright green because I was going to go for the green but I thought is that too bright I would have liked a bit more of a khaki or something like that i paid 30 pounds around 30 pounds for each piece so the whole tracksuit would be 60 pounds which quality wise i feel is there um it's just the fit wise for me but let me know what you guys think and i will move on to the next one next up we have another dress i'm really feeling the dresses i ordered <laughs> Um, this one is from a brand called Yaz. Now, I used to, I was already a fan of Yaz before. I think they do lovely quality things, um, but they have started to do recycled and um, organic and stuff like that. So this dress is one of their recycled pieces. I think the print is just so lovely. For me, I'm just unsure about the colour. Not that I think the colour is bad, but I think it's more my confidence with wearing such a bright colour. Um, I've popped it on for you guys so you can have a look. I've just teamed up with some thigh-high suede boots. These boots are like literally 20 years old. I don't even know where I got them from, but they've lasted a lifetime. I love them. Um, I've popped on about to cinch in the waist because this dress is super baggy and I like to just cinch my waist in, otherwise I'll just look like a tank. It has lovely sheer puff sleeves and it comes in at the wrist. It's got this little frill detail, which is really nice. That frill detail continues 
around the neck and then you can tie the neck as you can see that I've done in the video um, there. It's also got, which is really nice, a slip underneath. So that's underneath and they've really thought about it because normally, you know, when you have a slip, they just go AWOL and you can never find it or it's twisted. So they have actually sewn it in. So that slip doesn't move. You'll always be able to find it. It's easy to put on. And yeah, what do you guys think? I, as soon as I saw it and put it on, I loved it. I was just not sure about the color. I don't know if it needed to be a little more darker for me. Um, like I said earlier, I think it comes down to a confidence issue, but I really need some lovely dresses. So I really want to keep this one. I paid 55 pounds for the dress which is a little expensive, which is why I need to be sure that I'm gonna get my use out of it because it's a lot of money. And I got it in a size eight. So I would say it's true to size. I actually would have sized down. They do it in an extra small, which is a size six. But because the dress is so oversized, um, I could have sized down and gotten away with it. There's literally no tightness anywhere, even across my bust, because that's and my bum, they're my biggest areas. It's a very gorgeous autumnal print and it's perfect for this time of year. And I know I'd get my use out of it. Um, so yeah, guys, let me know and I will move on to the next one. My next pick is a jacket. Now, I have always just had a standard black jacket. I had one jacket probably up until two years ago and it looks so tatty because I just, that's all I wore with anything. That's all I wore. So I really needed some jackets. And I saw these kind of jackets um, and I kind of like them. I, I liked the casualness, but you know, coziness of them. Um, this one is from Monkey or Monkai. I never know how to say it. It's in gray. It's got button detailing on the cuff. It's got button detailing here. You can see the kind of buttons it has. It's got a collar. It's very, very soft. Um, the inside is just lining and you've got a belt so you can cinch it right in. And I think that's what makes the jacket that it's so baggy and then you can cinch it right in. So you can see I've teamed it up with my faux leather trousers again and the Barber boots. I got it in an XXS, which is a double extra small, which I'm guessing is a size four which is really small, but I am quite small. Again, even though I'm bigger busted and have a bigger bottom, I think my skeleton's quite small. I'm a, I'm five seven, but even my shoulders, like bra straps always fall off on me. I need to get them tailored in. So I always find with these oversized things, I need to come in quite small. It's probably not that true to size. I would probably size down one. You can also see that the shoulders are a bit puffy, which is a nice detail too. Um, it's really comfortable, it's very warm. I had to get out of this super quick after trying it on. I paid 65 pounds for this, which again is pricey, so I need to get my use out of it. I mean, you could dress this down and wear it with joggers. I know I've seen a lot of people wear it like that. And obviously there's a lot that's gone into the jacket. There's lots of detailing, so I get it. I can see where the money is, but I'm just not sure that I am gonna get my use out of it. But I do think it's such a lovely jacket. And if this is your vibe, then you're gonna love it because it's very comfortable and very, very soft. Next up is another dress and it's from Monkai or Monkey again. I think it's Monkai because Monkey would be like monkey. And I don't think that, I don't know. Anyway, um, I got this midi dress, this cream creamy beige it's more it's like a dark cream it's not so beigey dress it has a square neck which is basically what sold me because this is the most flattering cut on me i just thought it would be nice to add a piece to my wardrobe that's really comfortable um but smart and unfortunately i'm not that impressed to be honest i've popped it on here guys i've paired it with my barber boots again and i just feel like it's really ill-fitting for me I don't know whether I just assumed it would be body con, so it would be completely fitted. So it's fitting me in the places that I'm bigger. Again, my bust to my bottom, but it's just way too baggy on the waist. Or is it supposed to be completely loose, like 
straight the whole way down, which is a look that just wouldn't suit me and it would swamp me. I just feel like if I bought it any bigger, then the sleeves would be too long, the, the, the square neck would come down too low. So yeah, unfortunately for me guys, I don't think I'll be keeping it. Let me know what you guys think. The whole dress is ribbed throughout, which doesn't bother me, it's nice. Um, like I said, it's got long sleeves. It's also got a slit, one slit at the bottom. It's a nice length. It just isn't fitting me well at all. It's organic cotton, but it's not as soft as I would like it. It's not hard. It is, it's, it's not that it's uncomfortable, but I don't know, it feels quite stiff. Maybe after a few washes, it will loosen up a little bit. But I paid £30 for the dress, which... It's okay if you love it, but it's not for me, unfortunately. I got the dress in a size small, so I would have sized down to an extra small. Personally, for me, I like things a bit more fitted. It would have been a really nice piece, again, just to add to my loungewear range, because although I want tracksuits and that comfy vibe, sometimes I need to smarten up for Zoom meetings, or if I have people come by to the house, um, to drop things off to me or have a quick chat with me through the window. I just wanted a few different kind of loungewear bits and I feel a dress like that can be part of your loungewear. Okay, next up, we're going back to this gorgeous print from the beginning, the gorgeous dress. This is from Pieces again. The product is made with Lensing e Co Vero Viscos Vero, the way I add in this Italian the Italian twang. Viscose fibres using wood pulp source from sustainably managed forests. Viscose fibres generates up to 50% lower emissions and water impact compared to generic viscose. So this is from their Better Choice range. Again, I paid £35, which again, I think is a little bit pricey, but the prices are always a little bit more when it comes to um, eco products. And I got it in a size small. I feel that it fits fine. You can see I've paired it with my faux leather trousers and my Barva black boots again. The sleeves have quite a bit of detailing to them. So they're puff, but just before the elbow, you get this part that comes in. It's got this ruching to bring it in and then it comes back out and then you've got it coming in at the wrist again. And then you've got that ruching detail throughout the rest of the top. So you can see I'm wearing it, but if I just hold it up, you'll be able to see that the top can just stretch out because of this ruching, which I like. It's very comfortable. You don't feel restricted at all, yet you've got the nice shape. Uh, it's very fitted. It's got the same closure, but it came broken, which is a shame. I like it, but I think because I fell in love with the dress, I don't need both, to be honest. I will link everything in the description box below for you guys so you guys can see where I got it from. But I'm gonna move on quickly to the next piece. I have two more pieces left and they're some of my favorites. Okay, so this is one. Before I show you, I'm telling you that I'm keeping it because it's just what I need. It's just up my street. It is this. Oh, look how I jumped up in excitement. It's this super oversized shirt. It is humongous. You can't see it by me just showing it up to you. So I've popped it on for you guys. Oh, where do I start? Um, I just, there's so much you could do with this shirt. You can wear it how I have, cinched in at the waist with a belt and then some thigh high boots. You could wear it with a jumper over and then cinch that jumper in as well. You could wear it with trainers. There's just so much you can do with it. I was really in the market for a white shirt dress and this is just perfect. It's from a weekday and I got it in an extra small. I couldn't go any smaller. I probably would have because it's so big, but I feel like the oversized look just works. I paid £35 for it, which I feel is reasonable. It's got a basic collar, it's got basic cuffs, just like a normal shirt. The sleeves are oversized as well, but I think that works. I absolutely love this and I'm definitely keeping it. It's something I'm gonna get a lot of use out of. I literally can't wait to wear it and style it up. I've got so many outfit ideas in my head, which I always share over on my Instagram. If you're not following already, guys, make sure you do. It's at Honesty Alessandra, and you'll be able to see how I style this lovely shirt up in the 
near future but as always let me know what you guys think i am keeping it whether you like it or not <laughs> and i am going to move on to the last piece of today last up we have this jacket i'm not going to be able to show you properly i'm just going to have to put it on for you so you can see i've teamed it up with a white long sleeve top underneath and kept my faux leather trousers and my barber boots on and it's just lovely it's such a lovely color i really wanted a jacket in this color the only issue that i had was that the extra small and the small were sold out so i've picked it up in a medium which i thought was going to be far bigger than what it looks like on me at the moment um but i still feel that i would need to size down it's a very classic jacket which i like there's not much going on which i like i like things very simple it has little pop buttons that are easy to open and close it's also got a belt so you can cinch it in and tie it up um, it's just got a basic collar it's lined inside it's very 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 comfortable and i absolutely love it but like i said i'm gonna have to see it in the smaller sizes before i make a decision what do you guys think do you think i need to size down or do you think it looks all right it also comes with huge pockets which is another thing I love. I love pockets. I swear I'm an old lady because I just love pockets. It's another one from Yaz and it's from their recycle range. It actually says UK 10. So the medium is a UK 10, which is probably why I'm not looking so drowned in it, but still I'd like to like to get it smaller and have it more fitted. I paid 148 pounds, so it's not cheap, which is why I want it to fit perfectly. But I feel that for the quality and the type of coat that it is it's worth it and it's just what i'm looking for it's in my color palette it's a caramel color and it's just gorgeous i think but yeah i'm definitely going to order in the extra small and see if that fits me a bit better and i know the amount of use i can get out of it it can be dressed up it can be dressed down especially for lockdown at the moment i would just whack a hoodie and some joggers underneath this with some trainers you could wear it with jeans and a jumper you could dress it up when you go back to work with a shirt and smart trousers there's just so much that you can do with this jacket and i think because of the color it is just such a timeless piece to have in your wardrobe and that's it. That's the end of my sustainable autumn picks. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Please, please comment below. Let me know what you think. Tell me what you liked. Tell me what you didn't like. Tell me what you think I should keep because there's some there that I just cannot make my mind up on and I really need your help. So thank you guys in advance. Just before I go, guys, another reminder to please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell so that every time I upload a new video, you guys know about it. And like I mentioned before, head over to my Instagram. Please come say hey. I love hearing from you guys. And you'll also be able to see how I style up all the pieces I keep in the future and really make the most of them. I've had so much fun filming this video for you guys today. I hope you have too. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.